Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and a musician of a few years now. And today I'm gonna show you how to add percussion inside of GarageBand. So let's get to it. Now I have GarageBand open here. Now what we wanna do is actually I'm going to use one of the percussion loops inside of GarageBand. So in case uh, you don't know how to play drums, that is a-okay because we can choose from the library. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. What we can do is cruise down to the bottom right corner over here and click on the eye icon, all right? And that's gonna open up our library. And we can basically choose various loops, not just drums, but we also have multiple instruments, even beats, uh, pre-made songs, tons of stuff in there. You guys can explore that on your own, but let's go ahead and pick a uh, drum set here. Let's do something rock and um, let's do percussion. Uh, no, let's not do percussion. Let's do kits. Okay, and then acoustic. All right, and that basically narrows down our search in the lower section here. Okay, so from here we can scroll through and basically pick something that we like, or uh, we can just kind of test out. Let's go ahead and click and drag one of these basic drums onto a new track. All right, and then I'm just going to hover over the top right corner of the region and click and drag to extend it. And let's take a listen. All right, pretty cool. And that's basically it and how you add percussion. In this case, it was a drum set to your project. Now, of course, you can pick and choose and um, kind of sift through what the library has to offer. But there you guys go. If you do have any other questions, please let us know. And thank you for watching.